So, this is a history on the Ripper Tyler H. It's a video about his history with CRW, um, the fact that he is a CRW Hall of Famer now, and, uh, you know, WrestleMania 29 against me for uh, the streak and the CRW title and whatnot. Now, um, he's, he's, he's very, how can you say, uh, how can you really describe the Ripper, uh, you know, how, how can you, how can you put into words on, uh, the Ripper, Tyler H., uh, yeah, you can't really put words on a guy that is, just as dominant as Triple H is in WWE. Um, now, with circumstances, you know, his entrance is actually very similar to mine. But there's a difference. Oh, and here, I'll give you guys a quick advertisement. Mortal Kombat. Now, um, Tyler H. start out in 1997, back when it was, uh, still known as the Street Wrestling Federation, SWF, uh, August the 4th. Now, this guy, really, he, he came a long way, and, uh, I know you guys wonder, like, uh, well, was like that true? Any of the online stories? Look, it's true. The history's there. It's written. The gimmick's been in existence. Uh, now, we've had an usher of new superstars come in, and uh, Tyler H., you know, he's uh, had no problem helping out. Uh... He's a seven-time CRW champion, a six-time CRW World Heavyweight champion, a three-time Intercontinental champion, one-time television champion, European champion, and tag team champion. Uh, he won the Royal Rumble in CRW back in 2001. And, of course, uh, CRW 2013 Hall of Famer. Now... I haven't inducted any of the Deadly Alliance because my standpoint's usually been, you know, retired, then get put in the Hall of Fame. But, you know, I digress. If anything happens to where I have to shut the online circuit down, then I'll damn sure make sure everybody that gets inducted gets inducted extra early before I do that. That way I don't have any unfinished business. But, Tyler H., yeah. <laughs> this guy kicked my ass at Mania. But, let me tell you what. In the end, he still lost. But it was one hell of a match. And I respect him for it. Now let's go over to the WRP version of CRW. CRW2 World of WRP. He, uh, he attacked me. He attacked me. And almost cost me my match against Grant Van Dyke for the CRW Undisputed Championship in a uh, world of roleplay. But I came back and won. Outsmarted my opponent. Came up with the win. Now, the match was so detailed that it didn't really have to be that long of a comment-wise match. But, even though, even though you guys can unlock finishers and such at 15, you know, for the sake of time, having those matches, uh, you ain't got to. You ain't got to use it that early. You can make it a long match if you want. 
But if you read a detail, a very detailed comment, a match can still feel like it's been just as long and brutal in less comments. But that was one hell of a mayhem over in CRW2 that night. Uh, Tyler H., he has held numerous global titles, too, evidently. He's been a two-time NCW champion, two-time NCW tag team champion. Uh, he was a one-time BCW tag team champion, uh, four-time in UCW United States champion. He was a one-time UCW World Heavyweight champion, uh, a WCW champion in Attitude, uh, a WCW World Heavyweight champion in uh, LR, LWR. Uh, he was a TNA television champion in Attitude. Uh, also in Attitude, was a Ring of Honor pure heavyweight champion. Uh, Intercontinental champion in WWE Universe Roleplay. Uh, WWF, RP, ECW, and WCW tag team champion. Along with the WWF, RP, TNA United States champion. He's been a Royal Rumble winner in WWL. He's had the match of the year slammy in WWL. He's been a WWL Hall of Famer. Um, this guy's legit. Um, and I'm pretty sure there might be more in his CRW history. <laughs> I might have forgotten. But honestly, uh, most of most of us have a very stellar, legendary history when it comes to CRW. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway... Tyler H. Simply put, the Ripper. And uh, you can't you can't deny a guy like the Ripper. And if you do try to fight him, chances are he'll put you away with one hell. And I mean, and I really mean one. Hell of a pedigree. Bottom line, don't mess with the river.